Hello my dear students, in this lecture we are going to learn volumetric efficiency. This volumetric efficiency is defined as it is the ratio of actual volume of air that enters into the cylinder to the theoretical swept volume and it is written as efficiency volumetric and it is nothing but ratio of actual volume of air that enters into the cylinder to the theoretical swept volume. This is called volumetric efficiency where this VA is actual volume flow rate, actual volume flow rate flow rate it is nothing but meter cube per second as it is rate it is in meter cube per second and vs is nothing but theoretical swept volume flow rate it is theoretical swept volume flow rate swept volume flow rate flow rate again this theoretical swept volume flow rate will be in meter cube per second and in previous lecture we have seen this theoretical swept volume flow rate and we have seen the formula for this theoretical shift volume flow rate as this theoretical shift volume flow rate is equal to now 2 divided by k into x into pi by 4 d square l into n by 60. This formula we have seen in previous lecture. If you have not seen my previous lecture, then go and watch this theoretical shift volume flow rate lecture and then come here for this lecture. Now in this formula that is theoretical shift volume flow rate here this k is nothing but number of strokes k is number of strokes right for two stroke engine k is two for four stroke engine k is four number of strokes right x is number of cylinder x is number of cylinder for one cylinder x is equal to one for two cylinder x is equal to two d is bore diameter or we can say bore or it is a diameter of cylinder we can say or we can say piston also it is a diameter of cylinder as well as piston and L is stroke length L is stroke length or stroke of the piston right and N is revolution of crank rpm revolution per minute N is in revolution per minute and to convert this minute into second we have divided with 60 right and this is theoretical shift volume flow rate in meter cube per second and my dear students VA actual volume flow rate we have to calculate with the help of thermodynamic relation and we know that the ideal gas equation is PV is equal to MRT right and if I use here mass flow rate kg per second then I will get volume flow rate meter per meter cube per second right if mass is used in kg volume will be in meter cube and if mass is used in kg per second volume will be meter cube per second that is volume flow rate and with the help of this ideal gas equation we can calculate this actual volume flow rate and how we can calculate at inlet p1 v actual is equal to mass flow rate actual into r t1 from this we can calculate actual volume flow rate therefore actual volume flow rate is equal to mass actual flow rate mass flow rate actual r t1 divided by p1 right this is in meter cube per second and this volumetric efficiency is a ratio of actual volume flow rate to the swept volume flow rate that is theoretical volume flow rate now my dear students in previous lectures we have seen that the piston is reciprocating inside cylinder let us say this is a cylinder in this cylinder piston is reciprocating here it is a cylinder right in this cylinder piston is reciprocating from the two dead centers that is here there is a top dead center this is a top dead center and there is one more dead center that is bottom dead center between these two dead centers piston is reciprocating right that is to and fro motion now and in the clearance volume here there is a clearance volume is provided in this clearance volume there is an inlet wall for suction stroke there is an exhaust wall for exhaust stroke and there is a spark plug or fuel injector that we have seen this is a spark plug or fuel injector for the sparking for the combustion purpose that we have seen right now if it is SI engine that is petrol engine that is auto cycle then there is a spark plug and if it is CI engine that is diesel engine or compression ignition engine then there will be a fuel injector that already we have seen in previous lectures right and piston is reciprocating from top dead center to bottom dead center and we have drawn the cycle let us consider auto cycle let us consider auto cycle now we have drawn the cycle now while drawing cycle PV diagram 
very first process is piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center and inlet exhaust wall are closed position that means it is a compression stroke so 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic compression 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic compression like this 1 to 2 now once the piston reaches at 2 the temperature and pressure inside the cylinder increases because of compression and as soon as spark plug is operated there will be a spark and there will be a ignition and heat is added at constant volume only means whenever piston is at tdc then only heat gets added therefore 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition that already we have learned in previous lectures right now from 3 to 4 again piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center because of heat addition as heat is added pressure inside increases and because of this maximum pressure piston again moves from top dead center to bottom dead center and very very fastly that is reversible adiabatically therefore 3 to 4 is reversible adiabatic expansion right this like this right now here you can see when piston moves again back to the bottom dead center from top dead center the pressure p4 is more than the inlet pressure right here we can say the p pressure p4 at the end of expansion is more than inlet pressure to the piston cylinder assembly p1 because of this pressure difference right if i open the exhaust wall because of this pressure difference inside pressure is more than outside pressure because p1 p1 is atmospheric condition therefore p1 is atmospheric pressure and as inside pressure is more than atmospheric pressure because of this pressure difference if i open exhaust wall the exhaust gases will flow outside right therefore whenever piston is at bdc then only 90 percent exhaust gases will flow outside that means major exhaust gases will flow outside whenever the piston is at bdc only that means the exhaust gases will carry heat along with them therefore heat rejection is at constant volume only right 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection process and my dear students now the piston is at bdc only at 1 the piston is at bdc only so to throw out remaining 10 percent exhaust gases right to throw out remaining 10 percent exhaust gases we have to move this piston from bottom dead center to top dead center keeping exhaust wall open so that it is a exhaust stroke right the exhaust stroke will be like this one two let us say zero this is a exhaust stroke right now my dear students what actually happens this exhaust wall is a mechanical device and for opening and closing of this exhaust wall we need some time time is required right let us understand this concept diagrammatically let us say let us say the piston is at bottom dead center here the piston is at bottom dead center bdc and there is one top dead center right and there is a exhaust wall this is a exhaust wall now whenever piston is at open whenever piston is at bottom dead center and exhaust wall is open almost 90 percent exhaust gases will leave the system because of pressure difference because p4 is more than p1 that is pressure at the end of expansion is more than pressure at the inlet of the cycle that is atmospheric pressure p1 right and to throw out this remaining 10 percent gases that is minor exhaust gases we have to move this piston from bottom dead center to top dead center here there is a top dead center this is the tdc right we have to move this piston from bottom dead center to top dead center but and we have to keep this exhaust wall open but my dear students to close and open this exhaust wall or any wall we need some time because this is a mechanical device so we are closing this exhaust wall whenever piston is at some position away from tdc only little bit away from tdc only let us consider this position as closing of inlet wall inlet wall closed now my dear students from bdc to this position up to this position the inlet exhaust wall is open right and at this location exhaust wall is closed therefore up to this position pressure inside cylinder is equal to p1 that is atmospheric pressure that is atmospheric pressure now what happens when exhaust wall is closed that is piston reaches at this position right whenever piston reaches at this position pressure inside cylinder is equal to p atmospheric and the top dead center is away from this point little bit away from this point now at this location already we have closed the exhaust wall now exhaust wall is under closed condition now but piston is moving towards top dead center we know that piston is moving towards top dead center therefore for from this position to top dead center the exhaust gases inside the little bit exhaust gases present inside this piston cylinder assembly gets compressed 
right therefore here from this position to top dead center there will be a compression of exhaust gases present inside right and as soon as piston reaches the top dead center as soon as piston reaches the top dead center right the pressure inside cylinder now is more than atmospheric pressure because of this compression for some time there is a compression of exhaust gases because of this compression pressure increases and pressure inside cylinder becomes more than atmospheric pressure so my dear students from this tdc to bdc for again from tdc to bdc moment we are opening inlet wall so that there will be a suction stroke now if the inlet wall is open the air fuel mixture will try to come inside but my dear students inside pressure is more than outside pressure hence the air fuel mixture will not come in so again this piston is moving from top dead center to bottom dead center and up to some location let us say this location up to this location the inside exhaust gases will get expanded and pressure will decrease and as pressure becomes equal to atmospheric then only inlet wall from inlet wall air fuel mixture will enter into the system that means from top dead center to up to this location for such time for such much time of suction stroke there will be no suction in actual reality right this is a wastage of suction stroke therefore the volume of air fuel coming inside is less than theoretical volume so again we can understand here see the theoretical safety volume is nothing but volume between top dead center top dead center and bottom dead center between these two extreme positions bottom dead center this volume is called theoretical swept volume vs right but my dear students actual suction starts at some other position below top dead center here actual suction starts actual suction starts therefore the actual volume flow rate of flow rate of fuel is for this this much only va actual volume flow rate and these actual volume flow rate and theoretical swept volume flow rate is related with volumetric efficiency whereas volumetric efficiency is equal to actual volume flow rate divided by swept volume flow rate that is theoretical swept volume flow rate and to calculate actual volume flow rate we have to use ideal gas equation that is p1 actual volume flow rate is equal to mass flow rate actual into rt1 from this equation we can calculate actual volume flow rate and for swept volume flow rate we have to use the equation from previous lecture that is 2 by k into x into pi by 4 d square l into n by 60 this equation we have to use where k is nothing but number of strokes d is diameter of cylinder and also called bore and l is stroke length and n is rpm of the crank thank you dear students in next lecture we will see comparison of various cycles